EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the start of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the Northeast Invitational. Always a pleasure to be along the coast of Maine, Lighthouse Point to be exact. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Nabilo for EA Sports. Frank, this is sure to be another exciting day of golf out there. What are the challenges facing our players today? The length of the golf course for a start, Rich, this golf course just under 7,700 yards. It's one of the longest ones you'll play. And of course the cliffs, that's why it's called this, they certainly are in play. There is one double green out there, that's the 10th and the 13th hole, they share the same green. Lots of great design features and you've got it on a prime day in great condition. So enjoy the round and make sure you feast on the vistas as well. That is a green in regulation as the approach shot hits the first green, but he is by no means in for par yet. A lengthy putt coming up. Frank, this birdie putt is from downtown. Well, if you want to build a skyscraper, you've got to knock a few of these in. Always two components to the long lag putt, the speed, number one, and then the read, and missed out on that second part. Just five feet left. Pressure's on to make birdies. Pars just aren't going to get it done, Frank. Going to have to start aiming at some more flag sticks. Now at the second hole here at Lighthouse, it's a par three, 234 yards. Difficult hole, Frank, especially when the wind picks up. It is, and uh, you can see with that bunker on the right side, that's obviously the bailout area because the problem side is to the left of this green. That's where the cliff starts to run all the way down to the ocean. This is a very difficult par three, not just because of its length, but because it's exposed to all of Maine's elements. Second shot coming out of the rough here. Solid play, heart of the green. And getting ready for the putt. Frank, how does that part help his cause? It certainly doesn't hurt it. Now the third hole here at Lighthouse Point, par five, 566 yards. Those are good numbers right there. 3-2-0, 320 yards. Just crushed it in the fairway. Second shot. Oh, it looked like he caught a flyer right there, Frank. Well, I don't know what he caught, but this is way too much. Didn't check, Frank. Yeah, just not enough spin on that, um, really. I mean, that almost like took that first bounce and just ricocheted forward. Ball sitting down here in the rough. He's digging in. Chance for birdie after that beautiful shot. Even par, currently. Just moving that much closer to the leader now, Rich. Back over now to the fourth. Early in the round and playing reasonably well. Nothing great, but has certainly not given a whole lot away. Yeah, and actually a good, good position to really springboard the round from here. Now it's right in his wheelhouse, good position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. That ball sitting up, you can bring it in high, you can bring it in low. The choice is yours. That 
should be pretty good right there on the safe side. Well, that's how you play the game right there. Knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. Frank going for another birdie here. Just to get on a real roll. Frank had the touch of a plumber right there. Yeah, you'd like a redo, wouldn't you? Wake up, wake up! <laughs> Putt for par. He needs one. Solid par to remain one under. Now the fifth hole, par four, 481 yards. Find the fairway, and it's a fairly generous one, and you should have a shot where you want a nice lofted one over that front bunker to land softly on the green. Long and straight. That's how you do it. Wow, that is a monster drive down there, about 315 yards. Frank, at this the highest level, stroke play, really it seems to me to be all about not wasting shots because the margin for error is so razor thin. There's out of bounds over there. He needs to get lucky. Frank, this is where a golfer's mind is really tested here, after hitting one out of bounds. Well, on the flip side, though, Rich, you know what you've done wrong. So erase it. Time to put a good swing on it. Now, this will be counted as the fourth shot after going OB on that previous shot. Not enough on that one. Yeah, it just seemed to baby it. Shot now from the rough. Frank, what's he facing? Well, the lie first and foremost. If it's sitting down, then obviously you're not going to get a very good contact. Nothing wrong with coming up a little bit short of the green. Problem is turning one mistake into another. Makeable putt right here. He is currently sitting at one under for the round. So with that, one over par. Now at the sixth hole, so par three, just under 200 yards. Where's the challenge here, Frank? Well, you've got to love that bunker on the left side, Rich, especially because it's shaped like a letter L. Got to fly that. Uh, green's not too deep. So really the challenge is trying to flight that ball in amongst the breeze should it kick up. That's a nice approach shot. It's about 15 feet away. A good chance for a birdie. Settles in over the putt. Needs a few more of those. That was a good birdie. Yeah, this time, that one gets him in the top ten. Par 4 seventh here at Lighthouse Point is only 370 yards. Frank, are you unhappy if you walk out of here with anything other than a birdie? I think we'll see all sorts of different scores here, Rich. If you hit the fairway, then obviously you're definitely going to be looking at birdie. But uh, you stray or hit the wrong club off the tee, that's really what this hole's about. It's about club selection. You can hit a multitude of clubs off this tee. Can't ask for much more here at the seventh. He has hit a good one. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Frank, not just a player, but an artist. Just beautiful work right there. The only thing I can say, Rich, is that was Sevi-esque. This is a nine-footer. Birdie will send him to one under on the leaderboard. So coming off a birdie on the last hole. Frank, I think that's going to the bunker. Looks like it. Not what he wanted, but he's headed to the beach. 
You don't want to make a habit of it in the bunker again off the tee. All right, so greenside bunker, what's he looking to do with this shot, Frank? Well, really you have to look at the amount of green you got to play with. You don't have to try and fly the ball right by the flag. Allow it to run. Plus, if you can get it to run like a putt, you never know. It might just go in. Stays at one under with that par. We move to the ninth hole and we begin to go inland, Frank. I'll miss some of the views along the ocean. I won't miss the nerves with the potential of a golf ball sailing off into the Atlantic Ocean. That said, par five, you think about a scoring opportunity, but then I look at the score card and it says this is the number six handicap hole. That's pretty tough. It is, and the reason why is there's trouble both sides of this fairway, and uh, that's normally sand and cliffs. And the designer's really thrown the boat out. Excuse the pun. We are on the coastline here. This whole dog legs to the left, and uh, ideally, you just sort of like to go fairway, fairway pitch. That's the prudent way to play the hole. But of course, everybody likes to chance the driver and reach the par five and two. Miss, pay the price. Frank had hit the green, but just didn't have enough backspin. It, uh, you wonder what he was thinking on that. Chance to close out the front side here with a birdie. Comfortably inside the cut line, the young prodigy makes another birdie. Excellent front side, trying to keep.